Flex Drive Industrial District, which if you look at the town zoning map, is right up over in this vicinity. Okay, so there's a 75 acre parcel that's been sitting vacant forever. You might remember it as the property that was uh, proposed for the Cornerstone Mall back in 2010. Oh, we remember. Oh, yeah. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, sure. So the, uh, back then, <coughs> what they wanted to do was change the zoning for this from industrial to commercial so they could build a mall. Uh, thankfully, the town made the wise and right choice to reject that zoning change. Uh, how have malls fared in the last eight years? All right. Uh, you even had uh, Dr. John Mullen, the, one of the state's leading experts in economic development, come out here to town and advise the town not to change the zoning from industrial to commercial because large tracts of industrially zoned land are very rare. Large tracts of industrially zoned land with easy access to the highway are even rarer. Uh, so when the town rejected the commercial zoning for that, uh, the, the next order of business was, well, all right, what kind of industry would go in there? And uh, about a year and a half ago, we got a, uh, a site readiness grant from Mass Development. They're the state agency that um, promotes economic development opportunities in the state. And we did a market analysis, we did a detailed wetland mapping of the property, and uh, an assessment of its infrastructure needs. So, all of that material I packaged up and I sent to the owner of that property, which is Equity Industrial Westminster LLC. They have an office in Needham, <coughs> but they are part of a larger national real estate holding company, and they do projects all over the U.S. So I sent that package to the owner, and I said, we'd, we'd love to talk to you. I've been here eight years. I haven't heard from these folks once. So I got a response from those folks. And they said, yeah, actually, we would like to come in and talk with you. We have a prospective tenant who uh, would like to build a million square foot warehouse on that property. Uh, but to do it, they would need a little bit of the land uh, from the abutter just north of them. And this property is owned by Alan Belanger. Time and they said, do you happen to know Alan? And I said, yes, yes I do. I can put you in touch with him. Well, the very next week, Alan Belanger was into the planning board seeking a site plan approval for a large solar farm on his property, a large round-mounted solar farm. And I said to him, I said to Alan, I, I know you're pursuing the solar farm, but I think it would behoove you to talk with the owner of the Simplex Drive Industrial <laughs> District and see if you can work out some sort of land swap. Um, so that way you can get your solar field and they can get their um, industrial development in the industrial district. Uh, three months later, and they worked out an agreement whereby um, Alan would not build a solar field on the ground. He would instead put it on the roof of this industrial building, this warehouse. So, um, with that said, 
uh, the owner of the industrial district came to a planning board meeting on January 22nd and he said we would like to request that the planning board sponsor a zoning amendment to take uh, 25 acres from the, from the residential district and tack it on to our property in the industrial <coughs> district. That would enable them to build the million dollar, uh, million, dollar million square foot warehouse. Um, which naturally brought up the question, all right, who's gonna be the tenant? Other questions, how many jobs are you gonna create? How much traffic are you gener going to generate? Um, what are going to be the hours of operation? And so we sent them away to get us those details. And quite frankly, I haven't been given them yet. Um, I've been told that they are still working on the agreement with the tenant and that I'm going to know that shortly. I was hoping to know it in time for today's meeting. And I made it clear to them that we're not going to bring this measure to town meeting if we don't know who the tenant is and we don't have any details.